let's create a variable, uh, not a variable, let's create a dictionary. D is equal to, open curlies, one colon Monday, comma, two colon Tuesday, three colon Wednesday, and then close curlies. Good. T2 equals open curlies, four colon THU, just make it three letters, shorter, five colon FRI, comma, six colon SAT, close, oops, close curlies. Now, I have D and D2. Wonderful. What is the length of D? It tells me I have three elements. What is the length of D2? That also is three elements. If I were to get the length of some other kind of an object, like a string, I get back the actual number of characters. This guy gives me the actual number of elements in the object. If I key in uh, A equals Victoria, and I key in the length of A, I'm going to get back eight characters. Okay, all that is well and good. I'm happy. Next issue. All right, so I have D, and here's D2. So here's three elements, one, two, and three. Here are three elements, one, two, and three. All right, I want to see what's in element three. I'm about to make a big mistake now. D2, and I want to see what's in element three. Hit enter, and I get this error message. Why? Why is it doing this? Aren't there three elements in uh, D? Of course there are, but they are numbered differently, and we don't reference them that way. We reference them because it's a dictionary by keys. We would say d2.keys. What are the keys? They're four, five, and six. Ah, so I would say, what is the value for the key number six? And I would get back Saturday. Huh. Oh, I forgot to add on Sunday. I didn't do it before. Huh. Let's do it now. How do we do that? It's a dictionary, so I say d2, specify the element number seven, the key, pardon me, not element, the key, and then equal sign, the value associated to be associated with that key. Sunday. Well, they're all in lower case. I'll keep this consistent. And there we go. Now, I can D2, and look what I get. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and 7, Sunday. What do you know? Huh. Wonderful. Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about now, for now. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.